Have you ever wondered how some people can be so alluring without uttering a single word? Welcome to a deep dive into the captivating world of silent attractiveness. This isn't about grand gestures or loud proclamations, but rather the subtle, often overlooked aspects of our behaviour that can make us irresistibly attractive to others. It's the art of being noticed without seeking attention, of drawing people in without saying a word. It's about the power of quiet confidence, the allure of understated charm, and the subtle nuances that make others want to know more about you. Today, we're going to explore 12 socially attractive habits that can help you cultivate this silent allure, transforming you into the charismatic and charming person everyone wants to be around. So, if you've ever wanted to make a lasting impression without saying a word, this is your guide. Stay tuned to learn how to cultivate these habits and become silently attractive. The first habit is all about embracing authenticity. Authenticity, the quality of being genuine or real, is an attractive trait that often gets overlooked. It's about being true to yourself, embracing your unique qualities and standing firm in your beliefs. Authenticity shines like a beacon amidst the sea of superficiality that often defines our day-to-day -day interactions. When you're authentic, you provide a refreshing contrast that naturally draws people towards you. They appreciate the sincerity and depth you offer, and it builds a foundation of trust and respect. And it's not about changing who you are, it's about enhancing what makes you, you. This commitment to authenticity ensures that your presence is not only felt, but also remembered. It resonates with people on a deeper level, creating meaningful connections that go beyond the surface. By embracing authenticity, you naturally attract those who appreciate your unique qualities. The second habit involves expressing your personality through fashion. This doesn't mean you need to chase the latest trends or spend a fortune on clothes. Instead, it's about letting your attire speak volumes about who you are. The clothes you wear are a silent language that communicates your personality to the world. When you choose outfits that truly reflect your personal style and fit your body type, you exude an air of confidence and individuality. This self-assuredness doesn't go unnoticed. People are drawn to those who know who they are and are not afraid to show it. Remember, the essence of fashion lies not in the price tag or the brand, but in the statement it makes about you. So, let your wardrobe be an extension of your personality. When your external presentation aligns with your inner self, you create an attractive image that draws people in. Our third habit focuses on refining non-verbal communication. It's not always the words we say that attract others to us, but sometimes the language we speak without uttering a word. This silent language is composed of non-verbal cues that can say volumes about our confidence and approachability. Let's start with posture. How we carry ourselves can project a world of information to those around us. Standing tall with your shoulders back sends a message of self-assuredness. It's like a silent announcement that you're comfortable in your skin and ready to engage with the world around you. Now let's talk about your smile. A warm, genuine smile can break barriers and invite people in. It's a universal sign of friendliness and openness, silently telling others that you're approachable and welcoming. But remember, authenticity is key here. A forced smile can come off as insincere, so make sure your smiles come from a place of genuine happiness or amusement. And then, there's eye contact. The eyes, they say, are the windows to the soul. They can express emotions and intentions more powerfully than words ever could. Eye contact can establish connection and show that you're actively engaged in the conversation, but be mindful not to stare as it can make the other person uncomfortable. The key is to maintain a balance, a steady, warm gaze that conveys interest, but also respects the other person's space. So, why are these non-verbal cues so important? Because they create an aura a silently attractive aura that invites others into your space. They communicate volumes about your confidence and approachability, even before you speak a word. They are your silent advocates, subtly influencing how others perceive you, making you silently attractive. Remember, refining your nonverbal communication is not about putting on an act or pretending to be someone you're not. It's about enhancing your natural behaviours to project the best version of yourself. By refining your non-verbal cues, you can communicate effectively without saying a word. The fourth habit is about evoking intrigue with a signature scent. Fragrances have a unique ability to stir memories, ignite emotions, and leave an enduring impression. 
They act as an invisible thread, silently weaving stories about who we are and what we represent. This silent storyteller has the power to intrigue, captivate and charm, often without a single word being spoken. Imagine walking into a room and leaving behind a whisper of a scent that subtly says, I was here. That's the power of a signature scent. It's not just about smelling good. It's about creating an olfactory impression that is as distinctive and memorable as you are. But remember, the key lies in choosing a fragrance that complements your natural aroma and aligns with your personality. A signature scent should be an extension of your identity, a personal statement that adds an extra layer of allure. Choosing a scent that complements your personality can add a layer of charm to your appeal. We've covered the first four habits, now let's delve into the rest. Number five, practice active listening. It's often said that we have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. Active listening is more than just hearing. It's about understanding and showing genuine interest in what others are saying. By giving your undivided attention to the speaker, you not only make them feel valued, but also become more insightful, knowledgeable and approachable. Remember, the art of conversation lies in listening. Number six, maintain a positive attitude. Positivity is contagious and attractive. A positive attitude radiates an energy that draws people towards you. It's about seeing the glass half full, finding solutions instead of dwelling on problems, and choosing optimism over pessimism. This doesn't mean ignoring negative emotions, it's about managing them effectively and focusing on the brighter side of life. A positive person is like a beacon of light in a dark room, silently alluring and impossible to ignore. Number seven, be respectful. Respect is a cornerstone of all healthy and meaningful interactions. It involves recognizing the value of others and treating them with kindness and consideration. Being respectful isn't limited to just people. It extends to their time, their space, their beliefs, and their experiences. A respectful person is inherently attractive as they create a safe and welcoming environment that others naturally gravitate towards. Number eight, know when to speak. It's not just about what you say, but when you say it. Timing can significantly impact the effectiveness of your communication. Speaking at the right moment can add value to the conversation and show your understanding and empathy. On the other hand, knowing when to remain silent can demonstrate your respect for others' thoughts and feelings. It's about striking a balance between expressing yourself and allowing others to do the same. Number nine, be reliable. Reliability is a trait that silently speaks volumes about your character. It's about keeping your word, fulfilling your commitments, and being someone others can count on. When you're reliable, people trust you and feel secure in your presence. This trust forms the basis of strong, lasting relationships and enhances your silent attractiveness. Remember, actions speak louder than words and reliability is an action that echoes positively in the minds of others. Number 10, maintain good hygiene. Good hygiene is more than just cleanliness. It's a reflection of your self-respect and consideration for others. It involves keeping your body, clothes and environment clean and pleasant. Good hygiene not only makes you physically attractive, but also signifies a healthy lifestyle and a respectful attitude towards others. It's a silent yet powerful message about your personality and values. Number 11, possess passion. Passion is a magnetic quality that silently attracts people. It's about having a fervor for something that excites you and drives you. When you're passionate, your enthusiasm and energy shine through, making others interested and drawn to you. It could be a passion for a hobby, a cause, a profession, or even a dream. Passion breathes life into your personality and makes you silently attractive. Finally, number 12, be comfortable with solitude. Being comfortable with solitude means appreciating your own company and enjoying the quiet moments. It's about finding peace and contentment within yourself, which naturally radiates outward. People who are comfortable with solitude often display a sense of self-assuredness and independence that is silently attractive. They also tend to be more empathetic and understanding as they are in tune with their own thoughts and feelings. By adopting these habits, you can become the charismatic and charming person everyone wants to be around. To recap, being silently attractive is about more than just looks. It's about embracing your authenticity, expressing yourself through your personal style, and refining your nonverbal communication. It's about finding your signature scent, 
that leaves a lasting impression and resonates with your personality. And most importantly, it's about cultivating the other habits we've discussed throughout this video, from mastering the art of listening to maintaining a positive mindset. Each of these habits plays a crucial role in enhancing your silent allure and helping you stand out in social situations, not through loud gestures or grand statements, but through the quiet confidence that comes with being true to yourself. It's about being the best version of you and letting that shine through in every interaction. Remember, being silently attractive is about enhancing what makes you uniquely attractive and radiating quiet confidence. So, start cultivating these habits and watch as you transform into the person everyone wants to be around.